eBay sellers, it's time for another $100 supersize sales video. These sales come from my Facebook group where we have a dedicated thread every month where sellers post their sales of $100 or more. For possible inclusion in these videos, make sure you post your $100 sales on this thread. Okay, here we go. Donald Hux finally made the club again. Bought this past Saturday from Salvation Army for $29. Kinda wasn't sure, but the numbers looked good. So I took a chance. Listed Sunday night and sold today for full asking of $100. Might have been able to get a little more, but didn't want to push it too much with warmer weather coming. The item is American Eagle Outfitters Men Size Small Brown Leather Jacket. $29, sold for $100. Allie House purchased this Gucci 24 karat gold plated and snakeskin bracelet Saturday morning at the last day of an estate sale for $2. I priced it high and it sold the next morning for a best offer of $100. My first international sale and it's a $100 sale. It's going to Great Britain, Nottinghamshire. How cool. So there you see the bracelet. It was $2 and sold for $100. Joy Jounces bought from a lot of cross-stitch items from Goodwill that was $25 total with a dozen items. One sold almost immediately for my cost of goods, so this is just a bonus. It took 11 months to sell. Customer paid $115 with shipping and tax. I ended up shipping it in a priority flat rate envelope. I got several lowball offers and requests to ship as a gift overseas to avoid taxes, which I politely declined. I had only seen one other online where the shipping was about $5 higher. I had as many as 30 watchers at one point, so I knew it would sell eventually. I had sent out offers at $95 with free shipping, but no one accepted. It finally sold for full asking price today. Note, this was an odd item that was not cross stitch, but needlepoint with much thicker yarn. I was nicely surprised when I saw it was rare. My kit was complete and I could sell for $100. So I could make it on the super size sales page. So the item is new Airman Needlepoint Kit. Peas 1990 printed canvas with wool yarn. And the item sold for an even $100. Next up is Karen Monks, $4 at an estate sale, took a $100 offer in a couple of days since comps were pretty wide. I have 13 more different stocking patterns from the same find. My favorite thing to sell, so I was happy, and they were at the bottom of a huge tub of clothes, so I considered them my reward for hanging around this sale, shopping a long time. The item is Bucilla, to all a good night, needlepoint, Christmas stocking kit, $4, and it sold for $100. Ginger Lampbright. I bought this for a dollar at a new local thrift store on February 18th. Sold for full asking with free shipping. And the item is Shalimar Perfume. Remember, you can only sell brand new cosmetics, health and beauty items. You can sell the empty bottle, but you can no longer sell these half full or partially full. And yes, you will see a lot of these on eBay, but um, do eBay the right way and follow the rules so that your account is not compromised. 
So this was a dollar and it sold for a hundred dollars and ninety-nine cents. Kathleen Gifford. I found this beachy themed bedding set complete with a matching picture frame and coconut cup at a yard sale last September. I paid $25, which is really paying up for me, but I knew it was high quality. Sold for full asking price of $105 in almost six months. And this is a beach themed full or queen bed set with surfers um, just a beach theme so it was $25 which included some other items and she sold it for hundred and five D Sweeney found this hiding with board games at a thrift store for five dollars sold for hundred and ten dollars plus shipping in three weeks it is a Casio keyboard with the box five dollars sold for a hundred and ten Linda Allison paid seven dollars and ninety eight cents for the two of them at Goodwill sold in one day for a hundred and ten dollars buyer paid shipping the item is Ralph Lauren leopard print Aragon queen size flat and fitted sheets so just under eight dollars and they sold for a hundred and ten Valerie May Ratliff. I sourced these on Whatnot for $35, shipping included, sold for best offer of $115 in three weeks. And I have never heard of this brand. These are Robert Clergery Black Printed Platform Sandals. $35, sold for $115, pretty quickly. Don McMaster paid one dollar at the bins sold for hundred and fifteen this is a retired girls Disney parks dress very cute a cute style there with the flared skirt hundred and fifteen dollars Holly Feger first time finding a to me item I found it at one of the Goodwills I go to weekly surrounded by Amish farms. It's the last place you would think they would have great finds, but they always do. Bought this backpack for $4.99. It sold in four days on offer for $120. Sales this week had not been great, and when that happens, sometimes I will just accept a lower offer to get my store moving again. So you can see it is a Toomey black backpack or laptop case. Five bucks sold for 120. Marla Sheary, Microsoft Green Eyes Mouse. That is quite a vintage item. <laughs> Bought an entire estate in 2020, so the cost is hard to determine. This was in the dead tech tote that was in their garage. Listed about 10 months, started high at 800, sent many offers and gradually reduced the price. Accepted a $120 offer. So the item is Microsoft Green-Eyed Mouse from 1983. Wow, have things changed. <laughs> Susie Palmer Grant bought these Ralph Lauren sheets at my most profitable estate sale ever for $3 and sold on sale for $123.11 plus shipping in less than two weeks. Ralph Lauren doesn't always have to be the beautiful floral prints to sell well. So you can see these are just a plain blue chambray denim fabric three dollars and sold for a hundred and twenty three Holly Johnson paid a dollar each at an estate sale on the final day so eight dollars total took about three months to sell listed for a hundred and fifty and took a best offer of a hundred and twenty five the item is creative memories old style 12 by 12 
refill pages. $8 sold for $125. Carlos Chavez. I got this Lunar 2 Eternal Blue PlayStation for $1 in a lot of video games. Oh, so it's just the game. It sold in about a week on best offer of $125 plus shipping. So there he goes again, turning a dollar into more than a hundred dollars. Lauren Morgan purchased this Gretchen Scott dress, new with tag, for seven dollars from the thrift store, sold for full asking price of $135 in less than a week. And this is a brand I'm not familiar with. Gretchen Scott, and it is a red patterned dress. Seven dollars sold for a hundred and thirty five. Leslie Kidd picked this hat up at Goodwill for two dollars without doing any research. After a lot of research, I learned this was a crew hat from an obscure 1991 movie called Nothing But Trouble. I watched, aka skimmed, the movie just to make sure it wasn't a prop. I'm adding this part because it is a terrible, stupid movie, <laughs> and I feel everyone should know that. I started the bid at $25 and ended up making well over $100. So, the item is Vintage Valkanvania Police Nothing But Trouble Crew Hat, and it sold for $137.50. Brian Rappaport paid $25 at a garage sale two weeks ago, sold in about 10 days for $139.99 plus shipping. This is an Epson Workforce mobile printer. $25 sold for just under $140. Kara Joyce bought five sets of five at Salvation Army for $10 per set. My daughter and her friends aged out before I could give them as gifts. I've listed three sets, each for $160 plus shipping. One sold for full price. Two sold for best offer of $140. They've sold in days or hours each time. These are Monster High Funko Pop uh, toys in the boxes. $160, oh, I'm sorry, $140 for this set of five. And here we have our garbage man philosopher, Zachary McDoor. A lady at the transfer station wanted to recycle a few boxes of old magazines and boat catalogs. I listed the catalogs with a starting bid of $29.95 and someone sent me an offer of $150. So this is just a stack of boat and yacht catalogs and brochures from the 1990s and 2000s. $150 for some paper. So yeah, don't throw anything away before you check it on eBay. Kim Smith. I paid $14.99 at Goodwill, took best offer of $155, sold in about two months. These are some Florsheim men's shoes, $155 for a pair of shoes. Tammy Mitchell purchased at a thrift store for $32, sold in a month on best offer of $155 plus shipping and it went international. The item is a Stetson cowboy hat, and it looks like it's made of beaver fur. Nice item. $32, sold for $155. Okay, Ken McNamara. $32, sold for $172. Thrift store find, sold after six months. <laughs> Ignore the typo in the title. KitchenAid Cobalt Blue Convection Toaster Oven, $32, sold for $172. Okay, next is Sandy Glidden. 
This Nintendo Game Boy console and games were snatched from a friend who was on his way to ditch them in the dumpster. I have to admit this category is not my forte. I've researched and listed them at $175 and got a lowball offer the next day of $125, which I countered with $150. I never heard back. It sold later that same day at full asking price of $175 plus shipping. I notice now I didn't photograph the games with the Game Boy. Oh well. This is a 1998 Nintendo Game Boy Color console. So this was free and it sold for $175. Okay, Wanda Bergman. I bought this guy at a local thrift store for $1.80 a couple of months ago. I initially listed it for $199 or best offer, but only received low ball offers under $100. So I decided to put it on auction for 10 days and it sold for $177.50 plus shipping. One bidder asked if I would close out the auction early and sell it to him for $105, but I said I would rather wait until the auction ended. I'm glad I did. Yeah, that's definitely a clue to not lower your price when people contact you immediately and ask for a lower price, you know you've got something valuable. So the item is Werewolf Moons, a glow, build a bear plush. Dollar and eighty cents, and it sold for a hundred and seventy-seven dollars and fifty cents. Next up is Jody Clark, paid seventeen dollars at Goodwill for this Dymo four fifty turbo thermal label printer sold in a few hours for $199.95 plus $18 shipping. What a great find. Dymo Label Writer 450. $17 sold for just under $200. Sue Chapman purchased this Carhartt jacket at a family run estate sale on Friday for $5. Washed it and took photos on Saturday, listed it on Sunday, accepted a $200 offer and sold on Monday. Carhartt Men's Large Jacket, $5, sold for $200. Joshua Harrison, this was a 50-50 consignment item from a friend. I took a best offer of $200 the other day. It took about seven months to sell and it's going to England. Vintage antique 1930s, 40s, red G.O. W. Bowman, 100% wool hat. $200 for a fancy vintage hat. Courtney Feiselman took an offer for $200. I found them at the Goodwill bins. They sold in a week. So not sure what Courtney paid for these. They are KLM Blue Delft Houses, a lot of 10. And they sold for 200. Louis Prizzy purchased at Savers for 495, listed at 249.95 sold on best offer of 220 after about two months. And this is a vintage 1950s menorah. $4.95 sold for 220. Lisa Stevens, I initially bought for myself until I saw the comps. 279 at Goodwill took a best offer of 225. This is some Estee Lauder translucent powder. $225 for a little compact of powder. Next up is Toby Crimin. Starting the spring off with a bang. Picked this blanket up in Alma, Michigan at a garage sale. The same sale I got the vintage Fiesta Wear syrup pitcher I paid $100 for the lot it came in. I paid $5 for a vacuum bag with three blankets in it. 
this new with tag Pendleton blanket, one older vintage Pendleton and a very nice Mexican Serape. That has turned out to be a great day of garage sailing. This is a vintage Pendleton Beaver State wool blanket. $249.99. And this one is definitely on my bolo list. I've never even seen one here in the South. Maybe one day I will. What a great find. Okay, Patty Paul. Nice kaching while I was on vacation last week. This was free to me from an estate clean out I helped with. Listed for two months and sold on best offer. The item is gorgeous vintage all hand stitched yo-yo quilt queen king size. Sold for $255 and it was free. Tim and Rachel Beachy, I love a good Brahmin handbag. I sell some clothes, shoes, bags for a friend on a 50-50 split basis and this beautiful handbag sold for $259.99 in a week's time. We are both quite happy with this arrangement. Yes, I can imagine so. This is a Brahmin medium Asher tote lava red crocodile leather. Beautiful. Just under $260. Julie Gambino purchased for 75 cents each, yes, cents, at a benefit rummage sale. Sold in about a month for best offer of $185. They paid additional money for shipping as I am packing them separately. This is a pair of Staffordshire Spaniel dogs made of porcelain with glass eyes, 12 inches tall, 75 cents each, and they sold for $185. Tina Wozniak. Hubby picked this statue and one other up nine days ago from an estate auction. There were dozens of Yadro statues that went for several hundred dollars. He paid $200 total for this one and the matching Santa. Sold in seven days for $200. Santa should sell for more. So this is a Yadro porcelain Mrs. Claus figure. Sold for $200. Okay, Michelle Laverty, purchased from Salvation Army for $24.99. I worried about shipping from the moment I saw it and debated about whether I should buy it or not for several minutes, but finally decided I couldn't not buy it. It sat in my eBay room for about two years due to fear of shipping. Finally decided to just list it. I carefully packaged it and made sure I could do the box in a box method without the shipping cost being ridiculous. Sold in a month for full asking price. It was delivered a week ago and I haven't heard anything from the buyer so I'm assuming it arrived safely. This is a vintage Pyrex Amish Butterprint Cinderella Mixing Bowl Set. Original cost was just under 25 and it sold for $250. Okay, KC Vetterly started the month off right with my first four sales being supersized. Paid $26.25 for this jacket at a thrift store. Sold in three days for $319.95. It is a lambskin leather flight jacket. Gorgeous. So he paid $26.25 and it sold for over $300. Francisco Infante. Howdy, folks. I found this vintage White Mountain ice cream freezer at Goodwill for $10. Looked it up and saw its value and then contemplated the shipping hassle. 
Two weeks later, it sold for an offer of $356 plus shipping. They paid over $100 for USPS shipping, but I was able to ship it cheaper through FedEx and gave them a $20 refund for shipping. Good experience all around. Anyway, ice cream season is upon us, so keep an eye out for this brand. Happy thrifting! And there you see it is a vintage White Mountain electric ice cream freezer. Very nice item. Sue Ann Acres. This was a good week for me. I sold three things for over a hundred dollars. This is a collection of Littlest Pet Shop toys that I have just been putting in a box anytime I find Littlest Pet Shop. I really don't know how much I have in them. I have been collecting them for about six months. Worst case scenario, I have $40 in this. I think it's probably less, but I did not keep good records on it. I listed it for $375 or best offer. After three days, I received an offer for $330. I counted at $350 and it was accepted. So there you can see all the teeny tiny pieces of this littlest pet shop. 165 assorted pets, two shops, and a carrying case. And this just blows my mind that this little bitty plastic stuff sells for so much. I mean, it's not made of gold or anything. So if her investment was $40 and she flipped that and walked away with $350, that is a great deal. And honestly, I never see Lilith's Pet Shop. I always look for them, but um, maybe I would do better if I hit garage sales or yard sales or church sales, but I've just never seen any um, on my travels to the thrift stores I go to, but maybe one day I will. Okay, Diana Warren paid $4 at an estate sale, it took about two months to sell. I priced it really high and waited took a best offer of $450. I think this also leaves meat on the bone for the buyer to resell. Wow, this is a Lego land road and trail. Uh, looks like a bulldozer or just a all-terrain vehicle. Um, $4 and sold it for $450. That is why we get addicted to eBay. <laughs> I admit it's an addiction. <laughs> okay, and finally, our cover item. Myra Como paid $8 at an estate sale on day three at half price. The checkout person said, those are so weird, and I'm so glad someone is finally buying them. I just agreed with her. After doing the research, I priced them high and they sold for best offer of $535 after about 12 hours. I had never even heard of this brand, but anything this retro, unusual, asymmetric shape on lenses and with original case, yes please. Okay, I'm glad you said that these are asymmetrical, Myra, because when I was uh, choosing the photo for the cover, I'm like, are those glasses on crooked or are they different sizes on each side? And yes, they are asymmetrical. The item is Kazal, C-A-Z-A-L, asymmetrical sunglasses with the case, $8, and they sold for $535. <laughs> wow, that is just excellent. Okay, that wraps up another edition of Supersize Sales. Keep posting on the group and I'll keep making these videos because we all learned something new. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back next week with the seller shout out video. Have a great day on eBay. Bye everybody.